Good day everyone. So this morning I'm going to discuss with you guys the characteristics of research. I hope uh, you've done your assignments and you look for the different major characteristics of research. So how many characteristics do you search or have you found? Okay, 10. Okay, we have 8, 5, and etc. So definitely, actually in other sources there are more than 10, five more than five but today's lesson i just reduce it to six major characteristics of research so let's start discussing each one of the major characteristics of research so number one is that a research is a systematic process of collecting and analyzing information of data yes it's a systematic process so that means all of the results are coming from the data. It's data-driven. So how do we call that characteristic? So that is being reflexive and self-critical. Or in other words, we call it also as uh, empirical research. Okay, so once we have this particular characteristics, so we're talking about uh, finding the finding the conclusions or interpretation out of data is reflexive and self-critical. Next characteristics is replicability. What does replicability mean? So from the root word replicate. So what does replicate means? Yes, it's correct. To repeat, to copy, to imitate. So those are synonyms of replicate. But in research, uh, replicability means you can repeat the research designs, the research design procedure for you to be able to arrive at a valid and conclusive results. So what is the purpose of replicability? The purpose is to validate the former research result. That's why you replicate the research design and procedure and you have to check whether uh, your result is the same with the result of the former research, okay? I hope you understand replicability. Another one is cyclical. What does cyclical mean from the root word cycle? Usually good research starts with a problem and it ends with a problem. So that's cyclical. It starts with a problem and ends with a problem. And it goes round and round and round and round. Okay, so that's why research has no end. It is cyclical. Sometimes we recommend for the students to look for the recommendations, the recommendation part, because there are some suggestions or recommendations there, another set of problems to be explored. Okay? So next Another characteristic, four characteristics, is logical, from the word logic. We do not only use logic in math, but we also use logic in research. And how does logic applies in research? So, uh, logical means it examines the procedures to evaluate conclusions or all conclusions all conclusions are derived from the results of the research. Okay, so the results are coming from the data, and from the data, conclusions, or from the data, there are interpretations, and then from the interpretations, there are conclusions. So it's logical. You cannot just you cannot just formulate your conclusion without looking at the the results or the interpretation. Okay, so that's number four. Number five major characteristics of research is reductive. So what does reductive mean? From the root word, reduce. From the root word, reduce. So what does reduce mean? In mathematics, when we said reduce, we subtract. Okay, we subtract or we deduct something. Okay? We reduce, but in research, when we speak of a reductive, it means that all the 
all the general relationships found in a particular research are established from the data. So the behavior of the data says the relationship. Say for example, absenteeism and academic performance. So whatever the, the data says, say for example, if a certain student is always absent, the academic performance is low. So the relationship of the number of uh, attendance and the grade. So is there a relationship? So the general relationship there established from the data. The data will speak. So that is reduction or reductive. Another one is being systematic. A research, a major, major characteristic of research is systematic. So like science, experimentation, so it's also systematic. Because when you do research or when you conduct research, you follow a step-by-step -step procedure or method. So that's why it is systematic. Clear? So any questions about the characteristics of research? Okay, very good. So that's it for today. So see you on my next lecture.